We've all heard about how Marvel Studios likes to get everybody together and on the same page in regards to a direction that they're going to be taking. And when it comes to the future of the MCU, we know that the multiverse is now the next big chapter. And not just for the MCU, but also the entire live action multiverse of everything that's ever existed in live action and beyond that includes everything Marvel. So let's talk about a recent meeting that's been confirmed by Marvel Studios themselves that took place and the implications it has. I'm honestly starting to get a little scared over here with Kevin Feige. He's being a lot more transparent than normal, which probably means it's all lies. Okay, that, that's a joke, but seriously, he is being a lot more forthcoming and talkative in regards to what is happening. And this is probably for a reason. Probably because they don't want misquotes and things out there because of how insane this new direction of the MCU is with the multiverse and everything that they're setting up. Specifically at the ending of Loki, anything and everything now is in continuity and we know this is a thing because that's exactly what they're going to be doing with the upcoming full future slate of everything that's going to connect to the multiverse including ant-man doctor strange and spider-man and so forth so recently in an interview with the d23 podcast kevin feige was asked about how marvel studios is keeping everything together how are they able to do the multiverse thing now and not cause a bunch of problems or discrepancies between the different projects? So he confirms that every so often they get everybody working on projects together to talk amongst one another and to talk with him and to talk about what they're doing and to lay out everything on a sort of a, you know, whiteboard, if you will, which has been something that's been tossed out there, how they have like this, you know, virtual whiteboard if you will where everything connects to one another and sometimes even a physical one which he talks about and he says that they have these meetings between a whole board of marvel studio teams involved with all the projects and they go over the finer details what is happening down the road what is happening in the immediate future and what is happening right now in whatever project is next and that they're looking at this in a sort of way to simplify everything for the public for when they announce things how to slowly explain it to the actors of what's happening without going into it too much and also how to plan the bigger approach to the multiverse and the bigger reveals without having to worry about discrepancies problems plot holes and everything like that so he says that you know you have everything there and everybody's essentially a fan of everything that they're working on. So it's a lot easier when people start to throw out ideas for future projects. When you see everything laid out and you automatically know, well, we can't use that character here because that character is going to appear here after this ripple effect. And that's how they're approaching the multiverse now. They know what projects are affected by it. They know which ones are not so much affected by it and are a little bit more closer to the boots on the ground feel. Like, you know, your Falcon and Winter Soldier, for example. And that there is this now massive whiteboard, if you will, with everything on it that they're planning. And everybody just comes in. They talk to one another. They make sure things make sense. They make sure that a character appears here. And when he appears in that specific project, that will be something that's addressed in another project if they're missing, for example. So let's say Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, Rhodey appeared there. Naturally, his story is going to have to account for that. He can't just have a scene in Falcon and Winter Soldier where James Rhodes is watching the Captain America shield get handed over and be like, wait a second, wasn't he supposed to be there? Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the first episode. Yeah, he's right there. So how is he watching it from a different location? Right? They don't want problems like that and problems that go even deeper than that. So having these meetings so frequently make sure that whatever new project gets added, they know the timeline, they know where, they know how things are going to affect it, and they make sure it fits into a mold that doesn't contradict in major ways other events that are happening. And now if something doesn't make sense, they can just go, Kang did it. And there's your explanation. <laughs>